Hey everyone, today we are at Happy Kuh. It's a farm sanctuary outside of Erfurt in Germany. And I'm hanging out with probably the most affectionate cow ever. Lena is filming and she will, of course, get her turn soon. Oh, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> if you've never been to a sanctuary and you're an activist, please go because it will reconnect you with the animals that we're fighting so hard for and it'll also like rejuvenate your soul. And if you're not vegan or, or you're vegan and you know, you're not active, you should also go to a sanctuary because I think anyone that were to come to this place and lay on this cow and interact with this cow the way that I've been lucky enough to do today, you wouldn't be able to inflict harm on them. There's no way. You get to kind of, you know, reconnect to, uh, to what's important. People often wonder why, why milk is bad. A lot of people go vegetarian and they think that, you know, they're, they're doing the best thing for the animals um, because there's no death involved in the dairy industry. So it's something that is okay to be supported. Um, but unfortunately that couldn't be farther from the truth. Many of the cows on this sanctuary are actually rescued from dairy farms. Uh, so what happens to, to mothers in the industry is they're repeatedly impregnated by farmers with a metal rod year after year, every nine months. Because in order for a cow, of course, to give milk, just like a human, uh, they have to be pregnant and they have to give a child. Right after birth, in order for humans to make money off of the milk, the child is taken away. And if we can put ourselves into the same place of the mother, Imagine a human mother every nine months giving birth to a child and that child then being taken away. Imagine the toll that would have on their heart and their well-being. It would be tragic. Elena Seb and I actually visited a, a dairy farm, an organic, you know, a humane dairy farm in Germany while we were on our tour. And we went inside and told them we were tourists just trying to look at cows. The baby cows after one day are taken from their mums and then they're put into these little pens directly across from where their moms are in, cage, in cages. Not only have their babies just been taken from them, but they can see them and hear them crying like 20 meters away from them. Like, if we can put ourselves in the place of these animals, we know these animals are intelligent, we know they feel pain, we know that they connect to one another, and it's one of these things where if we can just simply be empathetic towards their feelings and their desires. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're gonna go then, aren't you? <laughs> behind you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's so funny behind the scene. Hi, baby. What happens to the male calves in this industry is after they're taken from their mothers, and within two weeks, they're sent to slaughter because the male calves are useless to the industry. If the baby is a girl, she's of course taken away because that's what this industry does. And she's put into the same cycle that her mother has been in. And after about five years, every dairy cow is completely spent. She can no longer make milk at the same rates that are profitable. And so they're sent to a slaughterhouse. We think of milk as being this fair, humane product, but it's a lie. It still ends in, in torture. It still ends in death. And it's something that, you know, if we really ask ourselves, do beings like this deserve a fate like that? They don't. Because you're beautiful. And you want to live a life of freedom, no suffering from humans? Mwah. I love you. <laughs>